Isn't that a neat place? Again, it's Gage Incorporated in, in Sister Bay, if you ever want to stop in there. Uh, it, I have a hard time getting out of there. All right, up next, we're taking you to a place that you might not know about, and boy, is it special. It is an outdoor theater in Dora County that puts on wonderful productions. The talent comes from all over the country, including right off Broadway. So, you know, take in a show. They have a wonderful pre-show uh, beer garden where you can uh, come in and picnic. It's just like a little village of its own. And again, what a gem to have this right in our backyard in Door County. Take a look at Peninsula Players. Peninsula Players is a little bit of heaven up in the North Woods. I've been coming here for 23 years and every time I get here I usually walk down to the water and I actually I start to I get tears in my eyes because I'm so happy to be here and it's so beautiful. Peninsula Players has been described as a summer camp for actors and we've been here since uh, in this spot since 1937 the theater started in 1935 and we've been doing plays and having fun all of that time. Uh, and now in our new theater, we have the possibility of doing very professional style productions. And uh, we do a season of five plays. Uh, way back in the 30s, they used to do 10, like one a week. Now we, our summer shows run for three weeks each. And uh, we have a fall show that runs for about six weeks, depending on the calendar year. Uh, our actors come from all over the country. It's quite a, a diverse group. At the theater, uh, the whole company, in actors, directors, designers, interns, staff, live on property, eat on property, and work on property. So uh, it's a very... I'm always looking for good campers, not just talented people, but good campers, because we're all here in a very close environment. So it's sort of like a theater, restaurant, hotel, tourist operation, <laughs> but, but magical. It really is magical. I have been in the uh, acting in the Broadway production of, uh, West Side, of the revival of West Side Story. Uh, for I've been doing it about a year and a half, and I'm on a leave of absence from the show. The producers kindly granted me that so that I could be here this summer for our 75th anniversary season. This theater is everything we hoped it would be, but better. Um, our old theater had, was a, had gravel floors. We sat in uh, old director's chairs that creaked and sagged. The sight lines for the audience were terrible. We had bats living in here, which were part of our history, lots of bat stories. And um, now we have a beautiful facility that has state-of-the-art uh, mechanics backstage. Uh, we have an orchestra pit, which we never had before. We used to stick the orchestra out in the garden. Um, we have very comfortable seats for the audience. We have our sight lines, it's raked, the auditorium is raked so that they can see everything, every seat is good. We have a balcony um, and, uh, it's, and we've used natural stone and wood and, we, and it's on exactly the same spot where the old theater was and the relationship between the audience, at the last row of the audience and the stage is exactly the same as it was in the old theater. So we, we spent years thinking about it and making sure that we wanted to recreate for our audiences here, the same experience they've had. The sides uh, go up and down. When the weather's warm, they're up, and they can take part in the gardens. And if the weather becomes inclement, they go down. So it's, it's great. It's just great. Whenever I choose a season, I, I, one of the criteria for me is I have to love the show to want to do it. So I love all these shows. Uh, the centerpiece of the season is our musical, which will be a little night music, which is actually currently running on, uh, in New York at the moment. And it, it's, a, it's a beautiful, lush, romantic musical. And I thought it was, and classy, and a lot of it takes place in the woods. And I thought it was appropriate for all those reasons for our 75th anniversary and for uh, our patrons this year. We're doing uh, Heroes, the first play about three World War I French veterans. And then we're doing Over the Tavern by Tom Dudzik, which is a wonderful uh, family comedy drama. Then we're doing uh, Comic Potential by Alan Ackborn.
My goal for the Peninsula Players every season is to do a wide variety of shows. Our fall show is a murder mystery called Panic, uh, which, as far as I know, hasn't really been done anywhere. It's wonderful. It's sort of based on an Alfred Hitchcock film figure. So we, one of my goals for Peninsula Players is to do, if someone came and saw the whole season, they would see a little bit of everything during the season. We encourage people to come before the show. We have a beer garden with a bar that's open before the show. Uh, they can watch the sunset uh, uh, over Green Bay. I've seen sunsets all over the world and they're just as beautiful here as anywhere else. And at intermission, we have uh, Bob, our gardener uh, and bartender, usually has a bonfire in the beer garden, which they can enjoy. So it's, uh, and you can hike around the property. We have like 22 acres of property in a beautiful cedar forest, so it's a, it's more than just going to a show, it's a sort of total Door County experience. It, in my thinking over the years, I wanted to treat Peninsula Players not just as a summer stock theater company, I have always wanted to be professional, that the work that people see here is as good as anywhere in the country, and we have put together, we have an amazingly talented group of people who are here every year and I think that um, anyone who sees us will think they're seeing the best.